Hello friends, welcome to EPG Parshala. I am Dr. Sandeep Walia, Head of the Department, University Institute of Tourism and Hospitality Management, Chandigarh University. Today, we are going to discuss about the module Marketing of Tourism Products under the paper Tourism Products of India. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the concept of marketing. They will also be able to know about marketing of tourism products. The students will also be know about characteristics of marketing of tourism product. The students will also be aware of the concept of marketing mix of tourism products. Dear students, like consumer products, tourism has also assumed huge proportions resulting in a multiplicity of products and sales intermediaries trying to get maximum share in the market. Today, tourism is the fastest growing industry in the world and also one of the most competitive sector. This competition is constantly growing as more and more destinations seek to attract tourists and more companies and organizations become involved in highly skilled business of destination planning, transportation, accommodation and catering for the tourists. Travel and tourism needs to be marketed more vigorously than other products as it is an industry in which the customer has immense variety of choice and also varied motivations for travel. Tourism marketers have an ethical and social responsibility to enhance tourists' welfare including the welfare of its employees, stockholders and surrounding communities. Today, marketing isn't simply a business function. It is philosophy, a way of thinking and a way of structuring your business and your mind. Marketing is part of everyone's job, right from the trainee to the top level managers or CEO of the companies. The aim of marketing is not to cheat the customers or risk the company's image or name in the market. Marketing is done to create and design a product and service mix which offers real value to the target consumers. Tourists and encourage purchase and fulfill the consumer need and provide satisfaction at a maximum level. Marketing is a business function that involves dealing with the customers, creating value for customers and satisfaction level at the top. In hospitality and travel industry marketing, there are many factors involved to make a business successful. Therefore, present successful companies at all levels have one thing in common that their major focus is strongly on customer satisfaction and are heavily committed to marketing activities. Let us now discuss about the concept of meaning of marketing of tourism products. Marketing of tourism products or tourism products marketing is blending of three words. The first is tourism, second is product and the third is the marketing. Tourism is travel for business or pleasure. Also, the theory and practice of touring and the business of accommodating, entertaining and attracting tourists and the business of creating and operating tours. The World Tourism Organization defines tourism more usually in terms that goes beyond the common perception of tourism as being limited to holiday activity only as individuals traveling to and staying in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business and other purposes. A product is a set of physical attributes gathered in a recognizable form. In other words, a product is anything that fulfills a need, describing and linking the unique features of the product, that is, the goods and services, to customers is important to effective promotion and marketing. A tourism product comprises of two elements. The first one is the attributes like food and beverages, room conference facilities, transport, etc. 
and the second one is benefits that are what the consumer attains as a result of buying the product such as relaxation, exploration and learning. Marketing really is the total planning of how to run a business, where are the customers, what do they want, how do we provide it for them, how do we get them to buy, everything else is secondary. In another words, marketing begins with the willpower of consumer needs and ends with the satisfaction of those needs. In other words, marketing starts before the production of the products and continues even after making sales. Therefore, the application of marketing principles in tourism products sector is the main idea of tourism products marketing or marketing of tourism products. Let us now discuss about marketing for tourism. Until the time there is adventure and curiosity dwelling in the hearts of humans, the desire to see a new destination and travel to a new place and experience new things and to spend time in new surroundings or environment will always keep ongoing or increasing. Hence, marketing to the tourism industry is greatly simplified as a part of the process has already been completed by the desire for the travel in people. Tourism is a very complex industry because of its multifaceted activities which together produce the tourism product. It is also complex because of various subsectors that are themselves complex industries if considered independently. Its AT complexity lies in the tourism promotion in its various forms directed at a large number of people in various lands of different socio-economic structures, having different needs, expectations and behavior patterns. Tourism marketing can be described as a coordinated and systematic efforts by various national tourism organizations and other tourism companies at national, international and local levels to enhance the level of satisfaction of tourists. Individuals and groups with the viewpoint of sustainable tourism development marketing in tourism is concerned with the needs of identifiable customer groups. Marketing comprises much more comprising product or service expansion, place, location and distribution and pricing. It needs info about individuals, specifically those concerned in what you have to offer, like what to like, where to buy and how much to spend. Its duty is to balance the correct product or service with the correct market or audience. Modern marketing is greatly based on the marketing concept which holds that organizations and businesses should produce their products or services to fulfill customer want and requirements, must targeting the segment of market which may likely buy their products and service instead of the entire market. The third one is the advanced marketing efforts which can fit into their complete business aim and goals. Let us now discuss about characteristics of marketing of tourism products. Tourism marketing is business function that is used for attracting tourists to various locations or destinations, states, hotels, cities, convention centers and other locations and sites related with the customer and business travel. Everyone implies marketing techniques and strategies to particular methods designed to rise the number of visits at a particular destination. Marketing of tourist products has different features from other marketing policies and plans. As tourists are not permanent, they are exposed to the services and facilities for a short span of time. But the tourists are counting on having a good experience and time. So there is a need for the marketers to apply strategies that appeal to the emotions of the tourist, like treating a kid to a memorable experience. Tourism related businesses depend on the companies with a, a musical venue offering discount coupons for meals at a nearby restaurant. Let us now discuss about marketing strategies for tourism products. In tourism business, the guest contacts with a hotel whose service quality is less consistent and more variable. Tourism products marketing requires new marketing thrust, namely the first one is the internal marketing and the second one is the 
Interactive marketing. Let us discuss the internal marketing first. Internal marketing means that the hotel must excellently train and encourage its employees to interact to the guests as well as the associate personnel to perform as a team to offer guest satisfaction. All must practice a guest-oriented policy or else a high and consistent level of service will not be forthcoming. Everyone in the hotel must practice marketing. Then there is the second one which is the interactive marketing. Interactive marketing means that the perceived service quality is highly dependent on the quality of the guest-staff interaction. The customer judges service quality not only from the technical quality but also its functional quality. Hotel cannot assume that they will satisfy the guest simply because it provided a good technical service. Therefore, there is a need to master the skills of interactive marketing. These are some goods for which the guest cannot judge the technical quality after they have received. Clothing, jewelry, furniture, houses, etc. are high search qualities. A buyer can evaluate all those before purchase. Some goods and services have experienced qualities which the buyer or the guest can evaluate after purchase. For example, restaurant meals, vacation, travel, haircuts, childcare, etc. In addition, there are some other goods and services that are high in credence qualities. These include legal services, auto repair, medical diagnosis, television repair, etc. In case of these goods and services, are the buyer generally find it hard to calculate even after the process is completed. In such cases, the guest relies more on words and promises of month than on advertising and will put more weight on news such as price, physical facilities and personnel. As service competition intensifies, hotels need more and more sophistication. Let us now discuss about needs of marketing in tourism products. A few tourism products need marketing activities for tourism. To name a few, they are location marketing. In most of the cases, tourism marketing focuses on attracting tourists to a particular destination or site recommending particular destination and lodging unit. Some of the destinations are already well known. The marketers only need to remind the customers or the visitors about the area and the quality products offered by the destination or site. Then the second one is the activity marketing. Some of the attractions market themselves on the basis of their sites and products. The National Park Service providers market and promote the Jim Corbett National Park as trekking, camping and nature vacations. And other tourist activities marketed to consumers including annual fairs and festivals, theme parks and hunting. Then the third one is the corporate marketing. Most of the people traveling across the globe are business travelers and attend some type of meeting, conferences or events. In order to target and attract these businesses, travelers, convention and trade show planners usually consider the tourism aspect of their site or location. Most of the travelers are ready to come if they could bring along their families and enjoy the locale. Tourism marketers about the fact that they can offer both pleasure and business aspects of their sites to the meeting providers. The marketing mix of tourism products. The heart of the marketing plan is expressed in the marketing mix. Marketing mix is a combination of marketing instruments or elements that work jointly to move the marketplace. The mixture is the combination of controllable variables in the marketing plan that is usually expressed as the four P's that is the product, price, place and promotion. In addition to these traditional four P's, the three other elements of services marketing mix are people, physical evidence and process. The challenge in marketing planning is to optimize the mix by adjusting each variable and the budget for the each variable. To maximize the value for customers and the contribution to the firm as measured in sales and profits. The seven P's of marketing of tourism products review the different method that is essential. Many firms market their tourism products and use these marketing plans and schemes. 
The first one is the product or the tourism product. Product or tourism product consists of a combination of goods and services. Product or tourism product is a mixture of tangible and intangible components. Professor Philip Kotler elaborates product as anything that can be offered to a market for attention, acquisition, use or consumption that might satisfy a want or a need. Philip Kotler manifests multi-layered concept of product considers five levels of generic product, expected product, core benefit, potential product and augmented product arranged in concentric circles moving from center to periphery. So the product is the collection of different services that have characters and profits. Standard characters and profits comprise the normal amenities of a hotel room. The product and services include these elements. The first one is the physical facilities, accommodation, entertainment and recreation, then the food and beverages, service style, standard and speed, image that is projected image or marketing objectives. Then there is atmosphere followed by price. Price is the monetary value decided for trade of goods and services amongst the buyers and sellers. Both parties tends to gain out maximum profits in this exchange process. While a seller primarily aims at covering cost, earning a decent profit coupled with a number of other long-term and short-term objectives, buyers simply want best value for the money paid. An interplay of a large number of force decides the final price that will be acceptable to all. It is important that the price of the product or service should match the product quality but effective marketing makes the price seems to be more appealing and attractive. The seller can either add additional characters to the product or the service or else keep the price constant or might give attractive discounts for the same characters. The price includes these elements. The first one is the basic price. Then there is price strategy to support various market objectives. Then the terms of sale, that is the variation in price at practical level. Then there is credit policy. The next one is the promotion. Promotion can be defined as persuasive communication of a marketer with its target market to achieve marketing objectives. Promotion is a part of marketing communication, which is a much broader term. Communication can have many goals other than promotion. A travel or a tourism business total marketing communications program called its promotion mix consists of a specific blend of advertising, sales, promotion, public relations, personal selling and internet to achieve advertising and marketing objectives. The promotion includes these elements, marketing communications in accordance with market segmentation and image. The second one is advertising and public relation. Then the third one is organization of sales efforts, promotions to customers and to sales force. Then the personal or the direct sales. The next one is the place. A place is defined as the area or a location where a business distributes its products and services. For instance, online store, store with the help of catalogs or through various distribution channels like retailers and wholesalers, etc. In case of tourism sales, distribution and sales marketers sell by the means of travel agents, tour operators, through websites and with the help of inside sales teams and also with phone operators to handle incoming queries. The place includes these elements that are the location of site official stability in terms of stress, access or availability. Then there is a material management. Then there is a food or service system. The next one is the people. People are an important component of the tourism marketing mix. The simultaneously of production and consumption requires active involvement of both sellers and tourists in a tourism experience, all human elements included in tourism, host guest relations and the informal sector and its manpower are often considered to the enhanced tour experience. Customer relationship marketing deals with the important dimension of relations between sellers and buyers. It is the result of continuous satisfying encounters. Though 
The products are collection or combinations of services in tourism behind the success of the transaction different stakeholders are involved. Operators must provide top level services to initially complete the sales and to motivate and boost repeated clients. Then the next one is the physical evidence. Physical evidence is defined as tangible or material part of service that creates environment in which service is experienced. Terms such as environment, service scape, atmospherics, service settings, physical settings and physical surroundings are also used for this. Tourism businesses depend on it to communicate the features of services and provide cues to the consumers or tourists. Services are experiential and do not have any evidence. The physical element of delivery channels are used to bring out evidences. The experience of the customer through the physical evidence helps in the sales of the particular tourism product. Putting up photographs of the customers at important events or the supply of branded products are successful strategies for marketing and promotion of different tourism products. The next one is the process. The tourism services are found related to a number of allied services and therefore right processing makes it essential that the travel agent ensure that the promised quality of services reach to the tourist without any gap in time or in quality. The frontline staff and technology used in flens processing process is an important element of tourism products marketing mix because of the service intensive nature of tourism. Service can be defined as an activity aimed at creating and forming service marketing and consumer value. Hence, in order to invite the consumers or customers to know and experience the process to create maximum value. Let us discuss about marketing strategies for the tourism market. The basic steps in tourism marketing strategy are as follows. Definition of needs of all the potential tourists and their possible destinations. The second one is the segmenting the market according to the type of the need the firm wants to satisfy. Then the third one is the defining the environmental concentrates and competitive scene. The fourth one is the formulating marketing objectives and allocating marketing resources in terms of designing the tourism product. The main strategies followed by tourism firms can be classified as growth strategies and competitive strategies. Let us now discuss about the main strategies for the tourism marketers. These are market penetration strategy. This entails building of foothold in a market through creating a differential advantage in pricing or promotion or both. Market extension strategy. This entails realization of new categories of tourist reformation of present tourism products by playing in advance launch of a new product managing the life cycle stages of a tourist product. There are five factors in working out a tourism marketing policy. The first one is the tourism product. Then there is the second one which is tourism promotion. It is followed by the third one the price of the product. Then the fourth one is the tourist market. And the last one is the, the tourist transport. Tourism product as far as a tourist is concerned, a tourist product includes a complete experience from the time he leaves home to the time he returns home. It is not a single product but a package of attraction, transport, accommodation and entertainment. Tourist products may include architectural resources, natural resources, museums and monuments and culture. These products are to be designed according to the sector of the market. The size of the sector will depend on the characteristic of the tourist product. The tourist product can be analyzed in terms of accessibility, facilities and attraction. Attractions are those elements in the tourist product which determine the choice of the tourist to visit one destination rather than another. They may include site attractions and event attractions. Facilities are those elements which do not themselves provide the motivation for tourist follows. But the absence of these may deter a tourist from traveling to enjoy the attractions. Accessibility relates to the mode of transportation to the destination chosen by the tourist. In other words, it is the proximity of the destination to a tourist place of residence. The concept of the product is central to the marketing strategy. 
Let us now discuss about tourist market. The tourist market is divided into three major segments. The first one is the holiday tourist. Then the second one is that the business tourist and the last and the third one is that the common interest tourist. The holiday tourist has proved to be very sensitive to price changes. It has been regarded as highly seasonal. Business tourists are attracted by the event attractions in the form of exhibitions, trade fairs and conferences. Common interest tourists include visitors to friends and relatives, visitors for educational purposes and visitors for pilgrimages. Dear students, let us now summarize. The role of marketing in tourism products and services is very vital. Create a right atmosphere related to marketing and selling. Define the right tourist markets. Choose the most dynamic organization. Prepare a great action plan and strategy with the help of streamlined marketing mix and train all employees to improve their sales techniques and also use modern techniques of electronic gadgets. It is said that under the organization, even tourism organization cannot thrive unless the marketing principles are practiced. So, for the boosting of economy, motivation and marketing can play an important role for the enhancement of travel and tourism industry as well as tourism products. And with these words, I sum up this module. Thank you.